black boss is a Dutch term, a Dutch name, which translates to flat woods. It was a town in Brooklyn hundreds of years ago, back in the 1600s. And this town actually went from on the north end from Queens all the way down to present day neighborhood of Midwood. So if you add Midwood, East Flatbush, Flatbush, and East New York, that was the original town of Flatbush. Remember, during this period, Brooklyn was subdivided into five or six towns. Within those towns, you had small villages. Within the town of Flatbush, there was a village called Flatbush or Mitwout, Mitwoud, which was Dutch for Middle Woods. Then eventually when the English took over, it was anglicized to Midwood and Flatbush. The Dutch during the American Revolutionary War were actually on the side of the British for business reasons due to the triangle trade, which was a series of major transactions that took place uh, between three different areas. Basically the Dutch, the English, the Spanish and others began to feast, quote unquote, off this new land, the Americas, as they, as they began to make their way into the Western Hemisphere, primarily the Caribbean at the time, and bring those goods back to their homelands in Europe, go down into the Western coast of Africa, primarily the Ivory Coast, do transactions with other African nations where they were actually trading slaves and molasses, other items back and forth between the Caribbean, Africa, and Europe. That is known as the triangle trade. The Dutch had a heavy hand in that and quiet is kept. Brooklyn had, was known to have one of the highest concentration of slaves in the North. These African nations were conquered, were, had been already conquered by Islam and they were heavily involved in the trading of slaves. It's ironic because many of the descendants of slaves here in America, they shed their quote unquote slave names, their English names, and picked up Arabic names, not knowing that the Arabic world or the, or, and the Islamic world played a huge part in enslaving Africans. But again, not to sound harsh or cold, but it was a business at the time, which everyone had their hands in a cookie jar. Everyone had their hands in a pot profiting off of slavery. Then of course, in the 1800s, with the advent of the railroad and the mass transit system in New York City, that opened the door to floods and floods of people from the Caribbean, West Indies, Latin America, as well as slaves from the, freed slaves from the South to make their way up to New York where there was, the economy began to boom and there was work and opportunity that was concentrated in such a small area. Check out my other videos when you get a chance. The history of Crown Heights part one and two, the history of Bed-Stuy, the history of East New York and others. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, I'm on TikTok, Rumble,